Battle Mountain is where the entire world comes to break uh, cycling speed records. So the name of the event is World Human Power Speed Challenge. It's at Battle Mountain, Nevada, and the one year we were there, there was 13 different countries that, that competed. This year, uh, we have a five-woman team, and our category is uh, multi-track, which means more than two wheels, and multi-rider, which is more than uh, one rider. So we have a lot more than one rider. We have five riders. <laughs> so it's 45 feet long. It's a five-person tandem. They're all recumbent. Uh, starting from the front, there's a fiberglass nose cone. The front wheels with steering, it has uh, disc brakes off of a Kawasaki 1000. Rider 1, we call her the pilot, steers via cables, brakes via cables, pedals, uh, traditional cycling hardware for the, the sprockets and everything. Rider 2, 3, and 4, they basically just pedal. Rider 5 has uh, brakes and shifting, so we call her the co-pilot. And then the tail cone is a fiberglass, kind of like a surfboard construction, and then it has actually a camera and a brake light and a vent, like an exhaust vent. And then we had to build a special 40-foot trailer to transport the thing. We take the cones off during transport. Uh, it's quite an operation uh, to move this thing around. From the start, we built the thing uh, heavy, like mechanical engineers. It's, a, it's probably a five-by uh, factor of safety. We didn't want to see anybody get hurt on this thing. Uh, so it's built like a truss. A relatively heavy aluminum. We didn't use carbon fiber or anything that we'd have trouble predicting. Uh, it's a safe bike. Um, I think it's the safest, safest thing that's going to be at Battle Mountain. My name's Ivan Gunderson. Uh, Chuck Johnston. Lori Hecklin. Charlene Yarnell. Lanita Anthony. Barbara Sullivan. Denise Mueller. My name is Lori Hecklin. I am the middle seat, uh, position three. So I'm a mother of four and I um, was doing triathlons when I met my husband and came back when I was 49 to do Ironman at 50 and then decided since I didn't love the swimming and running as much as I love being on the bike that I'd transition to more long distance cycling and just kind of became an ultra cyclist. My name is Lenita Anthony. So I'm in the second position, which is awesome because all I have to do is pedal. <laughs> Just pedal as hard as I can. I've been cycling for quite a few decades now, um, but it has evolved over the years. I started in triathlon. I was a swimmer in college, but I realized that through triathlon that my, my cycling was actually better than my swimming. And so as life went on, I kind of took up cycling and that went well. And some friends kind of recruited me to try the track or the velodrome. Um, cyclists in Sprocket Rocket was a teammate of mine when we won the world championships for masters last year so hi my name is Charlene Yarnell everybody calls me Char I am in the fifth position so I am in charge of shifting and braking at the end I am a partner in an architectural firm um, I am married I have three kids that are all grown now and one grandchild my cycling career really um, cycling has been my passion and hobby my entire life. Um, as I was raising my family, it was really how I exercised. I didn't compete. I started racing, um, the first time I raced, I was uh, 50 years old. Um, otherwise, I just rode my bike with family and friends and had fun and somebody said, gosh, you'd probably be good if you went out and gave this a try. Since then, um, I have um, won in the master's level uh, eight national championships and two world championships uh, in the individual pursuit and the team pursuit. My name is Barbara Sullivan. I am the fourth person. Well, I started actually in triathlons, then did, I ended up qualifying and doing four Hawaii Ironman. COVID hit and triathlons had to stop. I, with Lori and our friend George, got into longer distance cycling races. We did Hoodoo 500 together individually but we trained and raced it together and we did the Silver State 5, 508 that year. Last year I did um, Ram with Lori and it was an eight person team. My name is Denise Mueller. Well I, I got asked first um, to sort of do the initial, to be the driver of it, um, the one in the front position um, and I got the benefit of being able to Ask the, get the team together and pick my team 
and it is an awesome team. <laughs> I started cycling when I was 14 years old as far as racing and I have 16 national championships um, and a couple world records. <laughs> um, one of which is the fastest human on a bicycle at 183.9 miles per hour and I did that in 2018. And then I have a second and a couple thirds and a fourth in world championships. Um, but I was a crit racer and downhill mountain bike racer. So my name's Ivan Gunderson. Uh, I have a mechanical engineering degree. My buddy Chuck and I, we uh, graduated from Cal Poly Pomona. Uh, we both have uh, our PE, which is an uh, engineering license for mechanical engineering. Uh, my name is Chuck Johnston. Uh, my education, I'm a mechanical engineer. I went to school with Ivan. I graduated back in 79. Uh, he and I both got our professional engineering licenses. When Ivan came up with the idea of, hey, let's go check it out, we went to Battle Mountain and, and saw what was going on and said, gee, uh, we should probably do that. I mean, we're both recreational cyclists, uh, uh, not very good ones. Any one of the women on this team would uh, run circles around us anywhere. I think it's a great team. I think uh, it's a great group of ladies and uh, a lot of experience in that rocket. I think our team is awesome, yeah. Super fun, I think we all have a similar mindset. Um, we all have that weird quirk where we kind of like to suffer a little. <laughs> We're willing to. Great group, super excited after today's practice run and um, really looking forward to prepping for Battle Mountain. I think we all have that passion of riding, riding hard, like we love that, and working together as a team, like building each other up to go faster and harder. Every single one of us is over 50. And so we're a very seasoned, experienced, and powerful team, but we're also representing a wonderful dynamic, which is women over 50. So we're gonna beat an overall record for all ages with a group over 50. What we did out here today uh, really impressed us and gave us a lot of confidence that uh, they can do something up a Battle Mountain. I feel really confident, yeah, we should break the world record in our category uh, this September at Battle Mountain.